That is funny. He sh- I got a. Uh... I got denied. I, I asked ref- I stuck asylum in like a stranger's house. I was like, Can I use your bathroom, sir? And they're like, What do you gotta do? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, no, it was we were playing basketball and we gave my fr- we gave my friend laxatives. <laughs> yeah. And then while we're playing, we're all like elbowing him in the stomach and stuff. <laughs> We, put it, we actually called my friend. We got we had this weird phase where we were giving people laxatives when I was like in high school, and uh, we the first one we did we got me and my cousin got laxatives and put them in chocolate milk and opened the. Did you ever talk about this? And we opened the chocolate milk up. And we brought chocolate milk to like four or five chocolate milks to my friends, <laughs> and we each grabbed one that was good. And we gave our one friend the one with laxative. We're like, yo, Wawa just gave us free chocolate milk, dude. Let's drink up, play some basketball. <laughs> <laughs> So as he's drinking, we're like, yeah, drink it up, man. Come on, cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> chug that. So we get him and chug his chocolate milk. You're a terrifying human. <laughs> so we're playing basketball, and the whole time we get a rebound, I'm like, whap, and elbow his stomach. <laughs> so we're all like, hey, no, he's like, what the fuck's going on? And then he's like, oh my God, I got a shit. <laughs> so he goes to this guy's house. He's like, can I use your bathroom? The guy's like, what do you got to do? And he goes, I got to do number two. And the guy goes, nope. <laughs> I think he had to get picked up, and then he he went home. He wasn't far from his house. But he... <laughs> dude, we Fuck. did that. We gave girls laxative in high school. Nice. That was fantastic, dude. It's like assault. <laughs> I didn't. It I mean, is like assault. I mean, not yeah. in high school. I didn't know. True. And we gave it. Yeah, I, I've talked about this. Dude, before. I hope you get me tooed over <laughs> giving laxative, roofing laxative. someone with the laxative. <laughs> Bro, we gave it. We like. Oh man, that was horrible. It was mineral oil. I talked about this before. No, I don't had know. If you did. did it to a lady. In high school, we did it to a, a, a gang of ladies, dude, the three of them. We were drinking vodka at our house, and we would I would make shots. And then we, me and Holy one, of, one of my boys would fucking, instead of shots, we would put mineral oil. Oh, my God. <laughs> so we, were, we fed this trio of chicks, like, four <laughs> shots of mineral oil. <laughs> what happened? Dude, so we went to the football. We, were, we, like, went to the football game and followed them to, like, see what they would blow. <laughs> So we went to the football game and we were like, what the fuck? They're not shitting. We were like sitting there like, what's going on? And then we saw them leave and we were like, oh, fuck. They're going to go to shit. <laughs> so we followed them up to a Wendy's. And they had gone into a Wendy's. And we're blowing it out. <laughs> we were knocking on the door like, where are you guys going? What's going on? Damn, they they suck then, refuge in a fucking <laughs> Wendy's. And then from the 202 Wendy's. And then my friend... uh my friend's like, yo, you guys are drunk. I, I got to drive you home. Even though they were really drunk. <laughs> so my friend drove him home and hit all the bumps. <laughs> he's like, I swear one of them shit themselves. <laughs> he was hitting bumps on purpose. <laughs> he went to a construction zone and he was going, bop, bop, bop. <laughs> he's like, dude, I swear one of them shit Holy fuck. <laughs> it was fucked up, dude. Damn, that friend is hilarious. Oh, yeah. He's a fucking total beast. Fuck. Yeah, man. I, the more, dude, with school, the more I'm, like, researching, like, uh, <laughs> behavioral disorders. My whole squad was conduct disorder, CD, yeah. anti-personality, yeah. anti-social. Yeah. <laughs> dude, because the shit I'm hitting people with that is, like, I have to give a presentation on conduct disorder. And I'm like, no. if I were to fucking even just, just, just tell people what I was up to as a youth, dude, this whole class would be, get out. You got to leave now. <laughs> yeah. But, dude, in my head, I was like. Dude, you tell me shit. And I'm like. I thought you th- gotta leave. That made that made perfect sense to me. I was like, "Damn, we'll slip him a little bit." Because we did it to my friend. I mean, that's hilarious. We did it to my yes. friend, and then my cousin wanted to get out of school, so he was like, "I wonder what this is like." And he dragged laxative. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think he's gonna go home early? Because he had to <laughs> shit. <laughs> he did it before school, so then he, <laughs> he did it before school, so he could just like be in the bathroom shitting. All night. <laughs> so I told him, "I'm like, dude, you, you don't have said, to actually shit." Could, <laughs> so I told him, "I'm like, you could have just said you had diarrhea," and he was like, "Oh fuck!" But he was like, "Well, I kind of." want to see what it did and he was like he called my friend up and apologized I'm like dude i didn't know how fucking bad that was oh you drink man. a bunch of laxative dude apparently it's like you shit like a maniac yeah that's <laughs> awesome you've definitely had laxative uh no no really no wow you i thought for sure i have pooped my pants and <laughs> <laughs> but not a laxative. You're just, just validating all my concerns about people why because that that's the whole thing i'm always like I I would sometimes get panicky if I left a drink. Oh, for sure, dude. I have I have a phobia of being poisoned. It probably stems from all the horrible shit from that I've done. poisoning people. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I have a I have like if I'm at Chipotle and I gotta go to the bathroom, I'll take my food with me and like take a piss and come back and put it back down. Yeah, yeah. Someone's I have my lax karma. You bring through the roof. your food into the bathroom. Fuck yeah, I'm wow. getting. I've started to not do it now. That's yeah, my big thing. You can't do that. 
I had to, bro. I just thought someone was going to lax me back. <laughs> I thought one of these fucking girls were to come back and fucking mineral they, oil me they up. They definitely, de- you deserve it, but no, nobody's going to lax you. <sighs> Fuck, man. I d- Fuck yeah. What you think about that, Gerben? What's the, this is, I mean, scary. Seizures are scary. Yeah. You strike me as a guy who could have seizures. I hope not. Yeah, I hope oh you do. God. I hope you start getting them. Well, geez. I hope not. No, of course not, but, you know, you got health issues, right? Yeah, <laughs> but let's just hope that that's where they end. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. If, you, if you were going to seize, <clears throat> you'd have seized up by now. I hope so. Yeah, that's that's not going to kick in on you later, I don't think. Yeah. I think they might kick in. Well, later. you can if you're like a. I think a lot of rappers are getting seizures. Lil Wayne mm-hmm. had them. Rick Ross. I think if you started like consuming uh, promethazine real heavy, you might be able to seize up. What is promethazine? It's a uh, scissor. Yeah, it's yeah, a purple dude. drink. Let's get some purple drink. Get some codeine, scissor in your fucking seltzer waters. Pull up an eight. <laughs> yeah, you know what promethazine is? No. Codeine cough syrup. Oh, okay. That's prometh. That's syrup. That's okay. what they're sipping on syrup. Okay. Pull up a foe. Well, all new to me. I mean, that's four ounces of fucking syrup. So they just sip on. Yeah, you sip on. No, it's not. It's not Nyquil. Nyquil. It's, it's promethazine and codeine. Come on, dog. Oh. Come on. Nyquil bro. is what's in that like DXM dextro. Yeah, you can't fucking dent them out and not know what syrup is. <laughs> True. Yeah, no, what, I don't syrup? know what syrup is. You don't even know uh, syrup. I'm not gonna be no. I used to be right. deep in the syrup game, dude. Were when you? I was 19, I used to cop pints for, and it, I some guy told me you like mix it with Cairo syrup, and you can. That's how you cut. That's how you know you get bad syrup. If you crack your fucking bottle of syrup. And it's all like sugar crusted around the top. Someone cut your shit with Cairo syrup. So I know you got bad scissor. <laughs> Would you no, I, listen to I me? bought it once and tried to sell it. My friend just drank it all and drove his car into a hill. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> fuck, dude. I lost like 240 bucks. That's sick. He drank it all. I was like, dude, I'm going to hold this. We th- I thought it was so funny that I had scissor up and I was, yeah. I was selling little shots of scissor up. <laughs> so I was like, hold it at your house. Don't, and he just fucking downed like eight Damn, ounces. He was selling scissor. Yeah, when man. I was nineteen. Yeah, oh. and he fucking uh, he was like Mike Jones, juice dude. man, baby, dude. He fucking my friend was. I was like, dude, where are you at? I need my fucking scissor. <laughs> no one was buying it. <laughs> Would you listen to Chopped and Screwed? Oh, for rap? sure, dude. I fucking I dude. I drank it. I got fucked up. Fuck. I drank, dude. Scissor up fucks you up. I bet. It's well, you have to take like if you take like a painkiller and drink scissor up, it fucking bucks you, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what does it feel like? If you take like a painkiller, I'm not advocating this first of all, but if you take like a painkiller, you drink scissor up, you lay down and you feel like you're floating. Mm. You're like, you're yeah, kind you can't of, feel your body, right? No, you're like, you're like in and out of sleep. So like you're like laying there and you're kind of, I mean, you're basically dipping out. You're like half asleep, half awake, and you're just kind of like laying there, kind of like, you're like, you're like an orb, just like, <laughs> I didn't really like, I didn't care for it, honestly. Yeah. But yeah, you like you like taking a trip. Mentally. I like bugging out. Yeah, I'm not really into like you know. I'm not trying to re-enter the womb, bro. Yeah, that's where that's that's the choice you make every day. You wake up, you got the twin gremlins of anxiety and depression. I'm going for the unknown. People more depressed types kind of hung back, hang yeah. back, and just sort of like Meh. yeah. I'm, I'm more. Like, I go I go with the impre- the depressed guy. Kinda, you you choose. I, go, the... I try to black out on alcohol. Nah, dude. I try to numb everything. You you try to fucking. I want to know too much. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm I'm a big fucking. I mean, that's why this yin and yang, dude. Exactly. That's why this podcast Where do you is fall, fucking Gerbs? elite. Oh, definitely the alcohol. Really? Oh, yeah, my Gerbs God. tries to numb the pain, dude. Seeking the, that's true. A fucking bad boy like that, dude. Yeah. <laughs> With this lifestyle? Come on, dude. <laughs> you got to forget those demons. You shit your pants playing kickball. You fucking... Be back live, dude. Yes. Yo, so I, uh, I've i been reading this book, this audio book, all week. And it's all about... <laughs> yeah. It's all about... Um, this like doctor who got really into like mushrooms and doing like mushroom and LSD research. Michael Pollan. Yeah, fuck, I forget his name. There's a couple of them, but I think and I think that is that might be his name. It's called Changing Your Mind. Yeah. His book, dude. I want to do mushrooms so bad right now. Some I'm, I'm really? a total mushroom head right now. Dude, the way they describe this shit is like, like they they have centers where you go in. This is what they're trying to legalize. So they'll have a place where like. You're with a doctor. They got all your vitals and everything taken care of. So you're not, you know, you're in like total medical hands. And then you're sitting there with a therapist. And then they give you like seven grams of mushrooms or whatever. I think, it, no, it's five. But it's like a total like um, synthetics. So you don't get like sick or anything. They give it to you. And they just guide you through like like a mystical experience. And it's like I want to do this. It was like to the point where I was like, find me a fucking space. I'm going to open up one of these places, dude. But then I was like, yeah. It's, I was like explaining to someone how I want to set it up. And they're like. Yeah, you just need an apartment, dude. You can just do this in an yeah, apartment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think you need a legal yeah. 
location because it's not legal. Yeah, it would just be. I was like telling them like, well, like set up in like a warehouse. You can like sit in it. and There'll be a couch and it'll be like a TV. And they're like, yeah, dude, you mean like an apartment? And people can just do mushrooms by themselves. <laughs> there. And I was like, yeah, I want to be there though. <laughs> but yeah, so in my head, I'm like, dude, I want mushrooms so bad. I uh, I want to I want to do if I could sign up for one of those studies, I would in a heartbeat. Yeah. That's like my only concern. It's like, are these, you know, if I'm health, the guy's like, yo, dude, you're reading fine, you're healthy. Some psychiatrist is like, yo, bro, let's talk about this. You're totally cool. Someone to talk me down, dude. That'd be awesome. It'd be a fucking blast. That would, I, I need that to become legal. That would make, I do it like once, twice a year. That would make me like weed so much more. What? If I had like somebody there to be like, you're great, dude. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Just be like, yo, dude, you got the heart on monitor. You're totally cool. Everything's great. You're it's... not breathing weird. We got the charts of your breathing. It's not weird. Here's some dude. You I'd know. still be like, I know it's weird. Your machines are wrong. <laughs> Let me out of this facility. <laughs> what you're doing is wrong. <laughs> I am a human being. <laughs> I want, dude. Yes, yeah, so that's been. I, I've been. I've been. You. I've been mushing crazy all week, dude. Really? I listen to that Joe Rogan with Paul Stamets. I'll fucking mush you out with you. That's what I'm saying, dude. I want to get a little. I'll mush cat. out with you. I want to get Where are you going Thursday? Trying to mush? I should mush out. I gotta find. I'll mush with you. I gotta find mushes. My girlfriend will be pissed when she hears this. She'll be like, Are you doing drugs, <laughs> dude? <laughs> mushrooms aren't tell. She said I did. I, you Stamets. know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna come clean. She I, said that to Paul Stamets. I took. Too. I took some mushrooms. A little chocolate. Was, that chocolate. Matt had this concoction <laughs> that was like, what was it? It was like weed oil and mushrooms. Yeah. I had a few cocktails, and me and Beezer were like, let's fucking let's try one of these. Let's split this thing. Uh, so I'd never. I've never done shrooms, really. I've never done shrooms. So, yeah. like, I was sitting there and it, I was like, this just feels like weed at first because there was weed in it. Yeah. And then slowly I started, like, I could feel it. Yeah. It was like, I've never done shrooms. So, it was like a full on fight. I was like, whoa. It's a whoa. weird experience. I ended up just watching Dan Soder do Macho Man impressions <laughs> for literally for like three hours. <laughs> I was fully like, this is the best thing ever. This is. <laughs> This is the best impersonation I've ever seen. Watch Dan Soder do Macho Man. It's, 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 the Canadians will know. The Canadians will be like, oh. Canada has a ton of Asians. He's got a manhood. Oh. <laughs> a very a strong manhood. A very sensitive opinion. Oh, dude, I had actually, that actually reminds me. So, I mean, I'm not, I'll get into the whole thing, but basically, more or less, Friday night, I was fucking, I was fucked up. I, oh, made, yeah. I was fucked up, dude. I made those capsules Sick. out of my little backyard experiment. I took, I like took hash oil and made. <laughs> and that's like <laughs> brewing drugs. And it's a random outside. Well, I, I did it. I did an alcohol quick wash. So it's like you just strip weed with cold grain alcohol, and you boil off the alcohol, and it's, you're left with you know hash oil, just you know for the fuck of it. And I put it in capsules <laughs> and figured I would try it out. I'm like, I did some. I dude, I'm. I try to do the math on it, like the milligramage. I'm like. Way off, bro. I took this thing. I made dinner plans Friday night for like a nice dinner, dude. We were going to like Ocean Prime. So this is like basically like Capitol Grill, like the shitty version of Capitol Grill. And you were so, fucking it. I was so fuck. so fucked up, dude. Uh, I told I told my girlfriend, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna just try one of these things. They're probably weak. And then like she's getting ready, and all of a sudden my left index finger, which by the way is still kind of numb, I don't know why. <laughs> goes numb and I'm like what the fuck and all of a sudden it hits me and I was like I can't go to dinner and I'm pacing and all of a sudden I'm like fuck it mind over matter dude and I went we went we did everything I'm I'm keeping it cool and then I I sipped it was to the point where we're sitting there and she's like she looks like she's like 20 feet away from me we're at this table and I'm just like sitting in like a chair like looking at her <laughs> and then I sipped uh, seltzer water and it was like to the point where I sipped it and like do you ever get really high and you eat and you like get real into the mechanics of your body yeah. digestion? Yeah, you feel course. food moving through. Sure. You? So I'm like drinking seltzer and I felt where like the liquid went and the the bubbles just evaporated out of my face and I was just drinking seltzer, looking at her like <laughs> <laughs> I'm so fucking. So we get wine and I just like chug a glass of wine to cool myself out and she's looking at me like, dude, what the fuck's wrong with you? And I was just, finally I was like, dude, I'm so fucking high. And uh, was, she, like, so, was she all right with it? She was laughing. She all was right, like, good. you fucking idiot. And then like, so we had a good dinner. We were laughing. Then like, of course, the weirdest person in the world came and sat next to us. And then she was like, look, and I couldn't stop looking. It was bizarre, dude. It was oh man, fucking crazy. But that you're, so you bring me to my whole point. So we went out afterwards and I got struck with the idea where, oh God. This is dude. This I no matter what I do, <laughs> fucking struck with at this point. It's going to be fucking retarded, dude. A club for white guys or anyone really who wants to do who wants to practice Asian impersonations, but seriously, 
Like, no bullshit. If you laugh, you're out. So you have, like, a whole thing where it's like, oh, welcome. And if anyone laughs, it's like, immediately you get escorted out. And you see who, who can last the longest, dude. Imagine renting out, like, a Radisson Inn and you're just, like, a conference room with dudes. Like, oh, welcome. <laughs> if you laugh, dude, you get pulled out. <laughs> so yeah, like at each, it's like the World Series of Poker. It's just, ta- it's just tables, and you get like a meal. And it's like, oh, I'm very good, I'm very good. <laughs> Everyone doing it loud. Yeah. And if you do, and like you'd have like like speakers, and you have to like take turns addressing stuff. And if you laugh, you're out, dude. You're fucking. You gotta leave. Last man standing. That's a great. Race. That's. I mean, that's incredibly racist, but that's a good. Well, yeah, but my that's my thing. It's like it's a serious practice. That's why if you laugh, you're kicked out. This yeah, is guys this is just, just want to to see who can. No, this is blast. guys who want to work on their accent. I understand, but it's like if you wanted to like say there was like an acting gig that popped up. <laughs> <laughs> like some people work on yeah, Irish accents, like the Great Wall or or the Last Samurai, where you <laughs> yeah. need to be a white Asian dude. Because yeah. <laughs> in my head, I was like, well. I mean, if I was like studying Mandarin, I'd have to do the accent. So what the fuck? I switched language, and all of a sudden it's bad. It's like, come on. Yeah. Well. You understand the difference. I do, I do. <laughs> That's why you'd have to have utmost sincerity. That's why laughing is punishable by your execution. You'd have to. You know what would help with the laughter is if you had a few Asian guys like stand, stand guard. <laughs> you'd have, they would be the like security guys. Kick, <laughs> they'd be the guys kicking so you. So like you'd have to make eye contact with them when you laugh. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be the ones kicking you out. Yeah. They'd, like, oh, oh. <laughs> They'd fucking have bamboo sticks, oh, fucking whipping people. That'd be so funny. There used to be a gong for when people get eliminated. They laugh at <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, that'd be so fun. We should do that at the Radisson. We okay, should. We should rent out the conference room. <laughs> There's like six dudes in there. Everyone laughs immediately and leaves. <laughs> How many people? If we had seven to eight listeners show up to that, how many dong? How many dong hoods do you think would be on <laughs> seven, dude? <laughs> you think everyone's going all in on this? Oh, I mean, I hope. I'm trying to bring back foreskin, dude. We got wronged. Yeah, that's pretty much. No, it'll be fun. Bro. So it's on my it's on my social media, so you can check that out. I'm yeah. tired of even having to address these people. Yeah, I have so many followers now, dude. It's like, yeah. pl- can I just give me a fucking second? You should buy some. I have like a thousand followers. You you, you cracked <sighs> fucking triple digits, bro. I mean, so it's like this is now that I'm up in New York. It's like I have so many followers. You probably like, as soon as you cross the bridge, dude, you got sixty followers. Yeah, I got notifications. Push. It was just like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> No, I haven't done one comedy show in New York. Like, I've been there for like eight days. You should fit. You should secretly quit and just never tell anyone. Just live up there. And like, oh my god, I'm killing it, dude. It's going so good. That's what Crick said he was gonna do. He just, said he was just gonna move to. Uh, he's oh gonna move god. back to his parents in Lancaster and just, and just tweet from LA. Did I ever talk about that on the podcast? I knew What's a guy that? who pretended to live in California. No, I knew. I knew. I was like, when I was in college, I was I was plugged into all these like evil hippies and like. The evil hippie dream. A lot of them will like catch weed in the mail and all this stuff and sell it around here. And once an evil hippie caught enough weed packages in the mail, they'd get enough friends on a weed farm where they could just go out there and live out the hippie dream. And there's this one guy I knew who was a total fucking psycho. He actually stole a dog one time from some oh. guy who owed him money and tried to give me the dog. The guy I know he stole the dog from ended up dying. He overdosed on heroin. But the, uh, so the one day I was at this guy's house, I'm, like, I'm chilling with this guy. This is a hell of a fucking... This is a fucked up story, but this guy, he was supposed to move to California, and he just, being an evil hippie, spent all of his money on ketamine or whatever the fuck he's spending on. Hell yeah. Evil so, hippies are the shit. Sorry. I fucking hate evil hippies. So then he, dude, he lost all of his money. Some guy calls him, and he goes like, he's like, hold on, man. He goes, hello? Oh, dude, it's beautiful out here, bro. It's so fucking nice out here. I'm never coming back. He's enough for Darby. He was pretending to be in California. That's great. <laughs> He's pretending to be in California. I think I talked about that before. I mean, I basically am pretending to live in New York. <laughs> I've literally, I, I've lived, I've haven't, the house I moved out of, I've lived in more. Yeah. Since, yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you, you know, you're, you're getting. This is where all my shows are. Acclimated. That's true, too. You They're all go in the Philly and Lancaster, and they're all around here. You got to go where the work is, dude. He's been in there, I'm drinking in my tea. Tastes really good, too. And I'm like sitting there. It starts kicking in like, you know, 20, 30 minutes. I'm like. That's early. I'm feeling a little something. But That's early. Yeah, dude, it's a little something. And I was like, it's manageable. This is chill. I've been, I've been getting real into being like so high and just not, not even bugging at all. Just being like, it makes no difference. Just go through your day. and You just happen to be high. It's not a big deal. So school day, dude. So I go to old man. He goes to school. And I'm like. <laughs> in class. Dude, it wasn't even before class. I got in there to print out all my shit. And it was like it didn't kick in for like two and a half hours. 
Because I was like, yeah, man, this is this, this is really nothing. I think I really figured this out. This is great. Two and a half hours later, I'm trying to print this shit out about statistics. And I'm like reading the study and I'm like, Rrr, and all the words are just like, you know, you, do you ever try to read when you're really high? No. It's really hard. All the It's just word soup, dude. All the word, you're like, <laughs> you get halfway down a sentence and you're like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> so I started, I started doing this thing where it actually kind of helped now where I read boring stuff. I just get like a real into a real meditative state. I don't think about how boring it is. I'm just like happen to be glancing at glancing at that stuff while I'm just chilling in a meditative state as opposed yeah. to like actively trying to read it stuff. It's just next level shaman stuff. You're on next level shaman stuff. So I was like, rather than being like, God, this is boring. I don't feel like remember this. I just sit there and I'm like, you're like my friend Russ gave me some fucking weed distillers to put in my tea. Next level shaman shit. I got high <laughs> as fuck before class, dude. I'm just a shaman, you know, <laughs> dude. So. I'm like think about joining the National Guard, <laughs> shaman shit, dude. And I immediately was like, no way, dude. <laughs> so I'm in the I'm in the thing. I'm like, fuck. I'm so so very fucking high right now. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. So I was like, to the point where I almost hit the eject. I was like, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna tell my fucking teacher like I'm sick. I'm just going home. No fucking way. Cause class was in like 20 minutes, and I was just like, no way, dude. You got to fucking power Plow through. Got to power through. Dude. Become what kind great. Of, what kind of fucking shaman are you, dude? I was like, you have to be able to get through this. So I sat there, started reading the research. My little trick worked. That actually helps for reading while high because I never could do it, which bothered me. Because two of my favorite activities, I figured I can combine them. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, so I figured. So I'm reading the. I, I read enough of the research study. I'm comprehending. It's, dude, imagine reading like, just like, really complicated research while you're high and just how dumb you feel and you're like, I'm a fucking what the fuck? I'm such a fucking idiot. What the fuck am I doing? I can't believe I'm high right now at school. I'm fucking oh, 32 years old. Oh. But in my head, it was just like, yeah, right, dude. This is just a test. You have to get through this. And I'm like, yeah, you're fucking right, dude. You're sick. Let's go. So, dude, I got, and the, the classes are so easy, by the way. You should have taken an Instagram post of you like holding a book and being like, every day is a test. Get through it. You're the best. <laughs> Sometimes you're high and you think you need to leave school, but you just need to get in class and just show everyone. <laughs> dude, so I go in the class. I always sit front and center. Teacher, I'm a total teacher's pet, dude. So I sit front and center. <laughs> front and center, high as fuck. I'm fucking lifted, dude. I'm sitting in my class. <laughs> teacher, you probably thought you were keeping it together. The teacher probably looked down and saw you just like... Ugh. So, dude, so guess what happened? So then the teacher decides to do this thing. God bless her, but she had an idea. And I, I do like her, but she had an idea that, like, she wanted us to learn like, how to, like, empath empathize with different, like, people of different cultures and really get in their shoes. That was, like, something from the reading. Yeah, dude, it's crazy. So... Dude, so what she does, she – this is the fucking funniest thing. I didn't know she had done it earlier that morning and apparently, like, completely was a nightmare in the class before us. So she was like, I'm going to put up three music videos and you're going to – like, we're going to follow the narrative and help you guys, like, get into, like, the real – get into their shoes. And um, so it, it was just rap videos. So, like, I'm like – she pulls up. I'm like, no, no. I'm so fucking high, dude. I'm in the front row. I'm like, I don't want to talk about this, dude. This is crazy. So we're sitting there, and it's the first song was like, here's my ghetto story. You know that song with Alicia Keys? It's like, I remember them days when blah, 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 blah. And it's a guy, the Jamaican dude's going, bruh, bruh. So we watched the video to that, and I'm like, this is crazy. I oh can't my believe God. we're doing this. I'm like, this is insane. She so watched the whole video, and uh, we paused it. She's like, so she's like, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Whole class fucking crickets, dude. Old cusk, dude. Everyone had like the... They were thinking right, so they're looking away from the teacher. I was just like in awe of the situation. I was just like, I jaw dropped like this, and she's like, "You seem to be making very eye, con very confident eye contact, Matt. What are your thoughts?" And I was just like, "Oh man, I mean, I don't know. I just I started I started talking about how I was like, yeah, I just you know the whole like thing about like entertainment and to try to like draw some sort of realistic depiction of people from and like and then I was like, but you know, I don't know." I mean, it's definitely weird. Like, that video is just crazy. I was like, I really like the song, too. So she was just like, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, I'm not asking if you like the song or not. And I'm like, oh, my bad. I don't know. I, I, yeah, I've, I've heard the song. <laughs> you thought the DJ came in and was like, yo, you guys hear this yet? Yeah. Check this shit out. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> you know, I thought it was pretty good. I was like, well, I don't know about it. In terms of popular entertainment, well, you know what? I don't know. I, I kind of like this song. And she's like, that's not what I want. And then, like, people <laughs> start raising their hand. And they were just like, well, you know, some girls just like, I don't feel it's in my place to really comment on this because it's not my story personally. And Hell like, yeah. That's all you have to say. In yeah, a, in a very chick, liberal yeah, this school, chick all fucking, you have to be is like, yeah, that was that's good. not my experience. I can't speak on it. That was good of her. Dude, the next video. So we, you know, she's like, oh, she's like, you guys got to start talking. This I know you guys have opinions on this, blah, 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 blah. Next video, dude. It's the game. Some Whatever song. I don't know what's, I think when, like, you know, like for every, like a rapper will do like, 
like seven songs about like fucking chicks selling drugs killing yeah. people for every seven songs they'll pull out like their heartfelt like man why is it so fucked up out here you it's know what hard I'm saying? to grind yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so like it was one of his ga- sh- songs like that it was the game the video was just him just in fucking black and red full blooded out with a black a red bandana hanging out of his thing and then it was just like him like standing on his porch with like his hat like just sitting there like uh, 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 talking about like, like rapping about you know crime and like how sick it is and how sad it is for everyone which is like I get it. It's sad to grow up in a, a poor black community. Like you can't. Do you get it, that. Matt? Do you get it? Yeah, like I do. I do, you I do get, get it? it. I actually How do. How dare you? I do get it. I really. No, do. you don't, Matt. Dude, I I was a. Uh, well, I can't. I'll just jump on that later. But <laughs> you know, so then, like, so we're watching this video. It's so stupid. It's like this guy, in you know, flying gang colors, just like, and then you'll see like a young black kid on the pavement, dead, and like the police there, and it's just like, it's like why we gotta kill each other? And then the next track, to, the next track on the album. That's. Fucking kill each other. <laughs> That's when I was just when she I like a pussy kill. I was up. just basically like, dude, if you listen to any of his other songs, it's like shoot people, kill people, sell drugs. Yeah. And she was like, and then like the one the one girl got fired up and was like, he's obviously wearing gang colors. I don't understand why. Blah blah blah. blah. And people were just like, yeah. And no one wanted to talk about it, dude. It was so fucking yeah. funny, dude. Third song was so. Oh no, third song was with some local Philadelphia artist that talked about black on black violence. Oh, yeah. Whole class is like, that's not true. Uh, that doesn't yeah, exist. That doesn't yeah. exist. Rubble, 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 rubble. So then, and then it comes to finale, dude. She was saying like, it was like, she was trying uh, to the show. The black on black violence thing. It's such a funny thing for white people to be like, so either way, white people are at the root of it. We're too powerful and they're too weak. It's I, like, oh, yeah. what are you racist? You psycho. Yeah, they're accountable. Yeah. They I, can be held accountable. For sure. Absolutely. It's dude. like, black on black. It only stems because of systemic racism from white people. White people are too powerful. Yeah. White people are the most powerful things oh, on well, earth. Black people can't be powerful because you need power to be... Black people are in pot. They can't control themselves. <laughs> <laughs> we need to control them. They need help getting controlled. <laughs> so, well, with, but, with, with, no, they like, seriously... What'd you say? <laughs> oh, well, no, I'm, I'm just saying that you, they, they can't be racist because you need power in order to be racist. Black people and are black people power. Are absolutely I mean, they're very, they're very strong and powerful, but they can't have power. They're they can't powerless. Be they're totally powerless. <laughs> I was like, what? That's, dude, that's literally... What a crazy statement. Dude, so we get through that, and the whole thing was supposed to be building like this, like sad traumatic story and then finally a happy ending to the last dude can you just try to guess the last song uh changes by tupac that would no no, no what what type of uh I'll song give you a hint. it's a t-pain song really yeah <laughs> this is, i'm in love with a stripper no. <laughs> <laughs> it was all the above all the above and it's just him and some rapper like you'll never hear of ever again that came in it was just like a video of a guy getting out of jail and standing in front of a like Lamborghini like all the above <laughs> <laughs> so like it was just a total fucking flop and I sat there the whole time just stoned to the absolute bone just like just watching my classmates like completely squirm and I was just like <laughs> oh my god I, I talked so I raised my hand for everyone I was like well I mean blah, 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 blah. I don't even remember what I was talking about the lady's like, yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> you were just blacked out watching t videos. I was getting so woke, dude. I was sitting there like, well, if you think about it, dude, if someone kills your cousin, you probably want to kill them too. So, like, I kind of get why, like, you get drawn into it. But, like, and I was like, people actually, when they retaliate, go for, like, if you killed my cousin, I'd probably have to kill, like, three of yours. And then she's like, <laughs> okay, that's okay, good. okay. Okay, okay, white guy in a sweatsuit, please, <laughs> yeah. please calm down. <laughs> if somebody wrongs me, I would bring a gun to class. <laughs> uh, okay, all right, all right. 